Hey Virgo, welcome to your second half of June reading. So glad to be here bringing you a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun and Rising. Won't resonate with everybody, it can't possibly. If it doesn't speak to you, that's okay. Uh, if you're here as Virgo Sun, try uh, checking out the reading in this series that aligns with your rising sign. Um, you can also watch the Sun Arising readings for your divine counterpart. Mm -hmm. And that often provides a good deal of insight and clarity. So try it if you haven't. Just run, run that and, and let me know how that works out for you too. Okay, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do hope you'll consider joining us. We're growing by leaps and bounds and we'd love to have you here. Please subscribe, like, share. And for those who are returning Virgo, you know, I'm your soul sister. <laughs> Virgo in the house. <laughs> so it's always such a pleasure to see what comes through and to receive your feedback and your positivity. It's just always such a joy. And uh, so I want to thank you for that. Okay, I am pulling two cards for um, one for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine. Feel free to flip it around if you need to. From Spirit Animal Oracle, I'm pretty sure I used the same deck for you last time. It's making me happy though. <laughs> I haven't been feeling well. It's making me happy. Okay, Feminine. Listen up. Card number three. Every time the three comes out, the two threes that come into my mind is the three of wands, which is like your ships coming in, and that three of pentacles where you're, it's very co-creative. This is card number three, armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Yes, boundaries are a thing. <laughs> we need them in our life. And uh, masculine gets card 45, parrot spirit, watch your words. You know how the parrot repeats things? Watch your words. So communication. That feels sort of aligned with what we're going through, even though these readings are not date or time specific, unless I tell you that they are. Um, we do have six planets retrograde. One of them is a Mercury. So that watch your words things feels uh, like it's a little divine guidance. Um, yeah. Say what you mean, mean what you say. I am pulling one card for you, Virgo, from um, the Sacred Traveler. And I'm liking this deck too. It kind of gives, um, it's very positive, but it sort of gives you something to think about as you go forward for the next two weeks. Oh my gosh, this card came out in a private reading last night. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Open your heart to joy. There's something in the book, though, that I want to read for you real quick. Oh, it opened right to it. See? So here's the thing. It says, you do not need to suffer to grow. Suffering isn't a part of the plan. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. Do what gives you joy. Stop and embrace life, yourself, and others. Say yes. So it's just, it's like, like removing that sense of, well, I have to suffer in order to be happy. No. No. And maybe for some of you, if you're the feminine, it's a boundaries issue. And maybe for some of you, if you're the masculine, it's your communication. You know, things getting twisted. You don't need to suffer. That's not what is supposed to be part of the plan. It happens. It happens. But it isn't a requirement. What I'm saying is you can opt out of that. Joy and delight. I love that for you, Virgo. You know, we're a serious bunch, and there's a lot of serious shiz going on in the universe, in the world, and it's kind of hard to, you know, step out into the sun when it feels a little gray. 
carry on. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so remember, you can flip the energies around. I'm saying this side is uh, masculine energy and this is the feminine energy. Showing up masculine in the energy of justice. Libra, card of Libra, fairness, balance. It can also represent um, legal proceedings or formalized processes such as legal documents, divorce comes up a lot in relationship readings, mortgages, sep you know, formalizing s splits of property, it's, you know what I'm saying? So it's just the energy though, right now, I'm just saying fairness and balance, something's being restored to fairness or ba and balance, or this masculine is saying that that's what they're focusing on. Feminine, there you are, Virgo and Gemini and that magician manifesting away i like that coming in with powerful major arcana here powerful major arcana what is coming through for this connection please all right something's been stressful wow look Knight of Wands. Yeah. This masculine is going through something more formalized and wants to return to the twin. Something that's been, they've lost a lot of sleep over. Feminine. Wow. Whew. Interesting. Whoa. Okay. Um, feminine seems to be manifesting right now. What is on order here is a king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy, but that's not what's important. What's important is this is somebody who, who um, does, who, um, upholds good character, honor, and integrity. Like that's their focus. Principled person. Someone who aims to do the right thing. Who thinks things through. Not impulsive like the King of Wands. Um, not over-emotional like the King of Cups. This is straight shooter. Very, it's not real warm and fuzzy, but it's principled. And I almost feel like it's about this feminine is looking for that energy to return. King of Swords. In the past, Six of Swords, and I kind of feel, Virgo, like, and this can be recent past, like last week. It could be a decade ago. It depends on your storyline. There was a moment where you were like, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I got moving to calmer waters here. And then in the future, there's a Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Aries Leo, Sagittarian energy. She can be very magnetic. This is someone who's in their full power. Very creative, very dynamic, very magnetic. A little mystical there with that black cat at her feet. I mean, she can also take no prisoners. So we'll have to clarify because I think she showed up in a lot of previous reading and not in a fun way justice please yeah wow <laughs> i'll take this too for those who are new when i pull from under the deck it is the unconscious energy for the person i'm reading for so over here would be the masculine side just something bubbling up under the surface that's motivating your their behavior and this masculine's got some trepidation some um apprehension like this is fear insecurities being triggered by this moon and what i'm seeing though is this um oh, sorry about that took care of a lot of things but <laughs> forgot to turn off my phone so I feel like the, the masculine wants to communicate with this high priestess, which I think is the feminine. I don't think these two are in communication, but this masculine really wants to communicate about some return to fairness and balance. 
A high priestess and the moon are both cards of Pisces. That will be important for some of you. Virgo Pisces duo, perhaps. I see Libra here too. Sag in that Knight of Wands. Oh, yeah. So I almost feel like this masculine is a little nervous and apprehensive about communicating with somebody that they have not been in communication with for a long time. This high priestess is very, um, you know, um, super awakened. That's why I named it the channel Awakened Priestess. Very uh, comfortable with intuition and communicating with their higher self or at higher dimensions with their spiritual team. It's, it, it takes work. It takes focus. It takes being open to it. And I feel like this masculine is aware of this feminine's um, intuitive abilities. I almost feel like they, that these two have communicated energetically, but now this masculine wants to do it in real time and is a little bit nervous. Nine of Swords has lost a lot of sleep. That's a lot of anxiety right there. Well, there's the Three of Wands I was talking about earlier. Ships coming in and the Seven, Three, man, wow. Wow. I'll tell you what it's all about in a minute. It's about the feminine. I almost feel like this card, this masculine, in, in this is past experience in this connection. Like I said, past can be recent past or it can be long ago past. But I feel like this masculine has been very anxious and worried about this return to the feminine. See, Knight of Wands to the Four of Wands um, and this communication, this desire to communicate possibly about divorce or a split or something now being more fair and balanced in their world, more just. Um, and they're trying to manifest their, you know, this feminine to come toward them. And they've been very worried about it. And I think they're worried and concerned and anxious about it because there was deception and betrayal. I don't know on whose part. Um, that isn't being made totally clear, but underneath is the magician. So when I see this energy together, the magician clarifying the seven of swords, it it's not only deceptive or it's not just betrayal. It's something that it was like, um, it was a plan that was put into action. It wasn't just shady, it was controlled, calculated using all the tools in the toolbox, but not for good. So I almost feel like that's what's motivating this masculine right now, even though this magician is showing up over here. If this magician is the feminine, then that feminine like withdrew their affection. Four cups, boom. Nice knowing you. And then I see the King of Pentacles. masculine archetype of life partner of someone you can count on here in the 3d dependable reliable someone who's there for you who has your back and i am almost feeling as if this masculine is sort of shifting out of an energy that was deceptive and duplicitous that's what I wanted to say about that mag magician. And that cost this masculine the affection of somebody that they really, really care about. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Right now, someone coming back from the past or this masculine wanting to go back to someone yeah 
that's what it is. They really want to take that leap of faith and, re and return to the feminine. I say that because I see the four of wands. Yeah, they really want to move. All these are, look at this. The knight of wands, fast moving energy, the fool and the chariot. All motion cards, forward motion cards. We have Sag energy there and that Knight of Wands. Fool is elemental air, Aquarian energy, and the Chariot is Cancerian energy for those who are playing the board game at home. And I feel... This Four of Wands will tell us more. Going forward, Four of Wands, please. Yeah, making the choice, choosing the twin, focusing. Look at that. Eyes on the prize in that Eight of Pentacles. There's some kind of external block, some conflict that this masculine has to work through. Oh, and then we get the calmer waters. So that's going to take some sustained effort and attention, but this masculine is definitely choosing the twin. I feel here there's some underlying energy of that, that magician, even though it's a card of manifestation, it's clarifying the seven of swords and the three of wands. So it's almost, it feels like that's what got this masculine into trouble. And they want to communicate about it. They want a return to fairness um, and balance in the connection. They want to communicate with it, but they're a little bit nervous about it. Okay. Feminine is the magician showing up in the energy of the magician. How lovely. Oof. Hmm. Yes, we have the seven of pentacles underneath and we have the wheel of fortune and we have Leo in that sun card, happiness. There's the joy and delight, judgment, second chances, answering the call of the, conne of the connection here. This feminine is manifesting a king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, astrologically, but the King of Cups is emotionally available. Someone who's free to give their heart to you. Um, compassionate, caring, emotionally supportive. It's good energy. And I feel like what they're trying to say is, I mean, here's Virgo in that Nine of Pentacles. I almost feel like this feminine is saying look i've i've stayed single i'm completely on my own i'm doing well i'm making my own way in the world thank you very much uh, but i am patiently trying to manifest i am patiently awaiting the manifestation of this king of cups and because we have the wheel of fortune on top of that seven of pentacles it feels like this feminine has been waiting a long time and is totally leaving it to fate. There's a confidence level I feel here because then it's followed by the beautiful energy of the sun. There's almost this patient, quiet understanding that, that happiness is the feminine's destiny, that there will be reunion and a second chance. But they're, they're in the manifestation mode. So it's almost as if the vibe is being put out. The message is being sent. Hey, I'm over here patiently waiting. <laughs> Manifesting someone who's emotionally available for me. <laughs> I trust in divine timing that the universe has my back. I will have my happiness and my second chance.
Okay. Now it's making sense. This feminine did move on because I feel there was some breadcrumbing. There was the the page of pentacles just just feeding this feminine enough to kind of keep them roped in and it was not fair and balanced. It might have been a nice gesture. There might have been something on offer here from the masculine, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for whatever reasons. I, I'm not judging either party here. It just feels to me like there was something very much out of balance. Um, and that's why we have the Six of Swords is moving to something more balanced. Sixes are about balance. So that's very interesting. King of Swords manifesting a king of cups but also a king of swords somebody who's high integrity so emotional availability and and lots of integrity and character someone who lives by a code no code of honor <laughs> yes I'm wanting that happily ever after but wanting to do wanting it to come toward this feminine in the right way in the right way. There's something with that King of Swords. It's about doing things the right way. Virgo, swear. Leo, right there. So Leo's here twice, and we know we've had... I've, I've heard some of you say Virgo Pisces, so I see that here. Some of you Virgo Leo, I see that here. But this is something that this feminine is sure. If y'all do it right, with high character and integrity, you can help each other overcome the challenges that have been in this connection because the love is there you get to the happily ever after by doing things the right way by being truthful and honest and of high character and moral that you know all that stuff i feel like that was missing here i'm saying that a lot because i'm looking at a seven of swords motivated by a magician You know, if, if there was something that, and I feel like this masculine knows it wasn't kosher. I'm not even sure that they, that they understand how it all fell out the way that it did fully. There's a lot of worry here and upset. They could have been um, tricked into it. The magician with the seven of swords, does that make sense? I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm really not trying to sweet talk anybody here. I'm trying to tell you there are a lot of possibilities for what this looks like and why this feminine moved away and, or, or re, you know, got out of it, got out of it. Yeah. What you have on offer is not enough. It's not fair. It's not balanced. And I'm seeing something over here with a masculine who intends to be, to be stable and provide some sense of grounded energy in the connection, but they're nervous because they were emotions you know love was withheld they may have feel that they missed their opportunity as well in that four of cups right ace of cups was on offer this person staring at the three cups could be that the feminine said you know i'm not going to deal with you could be that this masculine is saying i feel like i missed an opportunity and now i'm really anxious because i'm trying to manifest this person but i yeah, i wasn't on the level with this person they want to come back they want they want to communicate about it but they're like when i see the moon and the nine of swords i know something uh, there's a reason why this masculine is so unsettled it's right over here feminine though really trying to manifest this king of swords somebody to come toward the feminine for the happily ever after and the two of you working together to overcome the challenges between you in that strength card, having the courage, have the courage to do that work. Queen of Wands in the future. Passionate. Okay, I'm, I am going to take 
this and this and here's your three of pentacles okay look <laughs> knight of cups so i feel like um in the future this feminine is basically turning their back on drama i'm seeing some drama possibly in this five of wands there's still some measure of conflict that this masculine has to sort through before they can move to calmer waters um feminine it feels like you know the beginning here of the hermit's journey which is solitary sort of walking away from something that isn't fulfilling but in their power not really giving up um this is a card of perseverance the nine of wands not really giving up but there's been drama and there's been manipulation and that's underneath so i almost feel like this feminine is saying look i haven't really given up but Ain't nobody got time for this. And then followed by the Queen of Swords. You want to talk it out? You want to come clean? You want to speak truth? I'm available. It's feminine. I see the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords now. So that's all about honesty and honor. Um, and then the three of pentacles, I'll work with you on it, but I'm not going to get caught up in this. So I am seeing a feminine sort of stand up for themselves. This queen of wands could be the Leo on this side. I'm seeing Leo, like a lot of Leo over here could be a Leo feminine. Or someone with a lot of fire in their chart. But I feel the day that, you know, while they're persevering, that Queen of Wands feels like it's about the boundaries. While they're persevering in that Nine of Wands, while they're pushing forward, they're, say, they're turning their back. They are turning their back on some emotional entanglement that underneath they know they've been played and manipulated in the past right we've got that over here already so dear virgo um i see virgo twice in the in the uh magician and virgo in the nine of pentacles so this side does feel more virgo-esque but i'll tell you everyone that came to play libra pisces pisces um virgo gemini in that magician taurus virgo capricorn in the king of pentacles sagittarian energy in the knight of wands aquarian energy in the fool cancerian energy in the chariot lovers is gemini magician again virgo and gemini king of cups cancer pisces scorpio more water that um wheel of fortune is sagittarian energy leo in the sun scorpio in the judgment card justice is libra again so that's here twice king of swords gemini libra aquarius leo in the strength card uh Aries leo sag in the queen of wands a little more leo um queen of swords gemini libra aquarian energy so everything's here and i am only saying that so that you understand that it doesn't really matter i'm not trying to pin this reading on any one sign but I do feel that I've come through, I've, I've been pulling on some different storylines recently. This one feels a little different than some of the past readings. It feels more about a return to something fair and balanced and just that was not fair and balanced and just in the past. That involved something that was shady and manipulative and this feminine all they want is someone who's emotionally available for them and who has their back would uphold their honor and be truthful and honest because they don't want any more of the drama if this is speaking to you Virgo you know the drill the link to the extended is below it's in the top sentence or two in the description box I'll see you there in a second otherwise have a great rest of your week and I'll see you on a future reading
Take care. Bye.